Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Anna. Okay, not quite a journal with me, but what's gonna happen is we're gonna do some wax seal stuff, we're gonna try out some new nibs that I have and some new inks. We're gonna just have fun in my uh, onion skin journal, have fun with some of the new stuff that I have. I have my beautiful ridicule that I took out, perfect for Jane Austen July, made by my friend who sent it to me. I'm very happy. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it. And it's been sitting in a basket on my wall uh, so far. And I thought now is like the perfect time to take it out. So I have it resting on my writing box right now, but I have everything that I need out here. Um, first, I, I'm going to light this because I want to get wax melted to seal off a letter that I am I have been remiss in sending. So I need to get that going. And we're going to have at this. Okay. Um, so I'm using Craft Spire stuff. So this is kind of like a how to. I have that lit. This is my first time using wax pellets, I always use wax sticks. And that's always been really fun. So I'm going to do, I don't know if I mentioned the fact that these wax pellets are like heart shaped. Aren't they adorable? It's kind of half the reason why I chose to review these because they're so freaking cute. Um, and I also don't know how long these are going to take to melt. So you would think not very long. I'm gonna do more green because I love green. And I have them just kind of decanted into a jar. Uh, is that gonna be enough? I feel like it's not going to be. And then is this spoon bigger? Let's try this out. Maybe I'll do another like gray or pink. Okay, we're winging this. We're just gonna let it sit right there until everything melts. And I have my wax or my seal all set, so it's sitting here. So while that's melting, we're gonna play with some nibs. All right, I'm just over halfway through my journal. And I am so far really enjoying it. I mean, you've heard me talk about the Onion Skin Journal a lot. But I am truthfully very much missing my traveler's notebook. I always do. Anytime I switch over to a new journal, I always miss my traveler's notebook because that's He's my true love. So I have new nibs. Um, I decided to invest in really nice ones because I have just kind of cheapy ones that came free with a bunch of stuff years and years ago. And I've just been kind of using that. Oh, it's melting really fast, so that's good. So Anderson Pens is a local place to me, but still not local enough for me to go to the store, unfortunately. But um, that's kind of cool that I have a store like that within my state. And this is a Hunt dip pen so there's no actual specific name to this and I am going to just kind of pull it out of pull out that existing one and just stick it into my stylus here okay I am very happy that this wax isn't going to take forever to melt and hopefully that's in there securely I don't have the best styluses, let's just say that. I just kind of have ones that I got from... Well, this isn't exactly the best one to do this with, is it? Okay, good enough. Oh, see, now it's like... I feel like I can put another one in. Well, no, let's see how this goes. Okay, so here's my letter to my pen pal and let's 
this all sorted. So you melt the wax, you let it pour on just like that. And then you seal it off. And then because there's a lot of wax to that, I'm just actually going to let that cool before I do anything. And I'm going to set this aside. Okay. And then you give it a moment after it's cooled, you just kind of, oh, nope, still going. Wax is not made equally. That I can tell you. Because if you use wax sticks, they cool off pretty quickly. At least in my experience. This is taking a little bit. Oh gosh, I hope this doesn't ruin my seal. I feel like it needs time to dry, to cool off. Okay, so we will set that aside for a moment. It's taking a lot longer. So maybe for wax pellets, it just takes a little bit longer. I did use way more than I needed to. I think I could have done with like three pellets, if that. So there we go. Learning. Having fun. Okay, and then we're going to try out some new inks that I got. But what's really cool is, do you see that? How it's got that kind of like cool cross in the, in the nib. That's kind of fun. I got this idea from Chris. Chris is on YouTube, so you should check out her channel. She's got amazing videos on inks and fountain pens. I always feel like I'm just getting so much inspiration from her channel. And she used the idea of like using a lipstick holder to hold little um, ink samples, which is perfect because when you're filling it, sometimes it's hard to hold that and the syringe at the same time. So that's what I'm using today. And I have Diamine Sunset here. Just gonna make sure it's not a shimmery ink because I didn't realize that two of the inks that I got were shimmery. And we're gonna try out this nib. I think this might be a fine point, which not my favorite, but we'll see how this goes. Oh boy, this isn't going to work. This is unscripted, guys. This is a bad stylus to pick out, I think. Here's what we need to do. We need to fix. Um, there's little like metal pieces in there that kind of clinch when you add a nib to it. And that didn't take. It's kind of crooked on the inside, so I'm gonna pull out this one and add it. So you're supposed to see that right there. It's supposed to just kind of sit securely in there for you to be able to dip it in something. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's check to see if this is okay. Okay, there we are. So that's how you do a wax seal. It's fun. Um, the pink and gray, you, you can't quite see. The green has kind of overpowered it, but I think it's still beautiful. It's still cool. It's a very smooth wax, but that'll be fun. I love sealing off letters with wax. So pen pal letter is done. So that's exciting. I can send that off. Let's try this again. We might not even get Can you hear that? I love that sound of dip pens. Ooh, 
this comes off as a medium nib and this is a hunt that's really pretty I like this ink diamine sunset You get a different personality in your handwriting when you use a nib, at least uh, like a dip pen, at least with me. Your handwriting changes because the way you hold it is different, the way you press on it is different. Different inks, different nibs will behave in all sorts of manner. And I mean, I'm getting ink all over my hands now, so that's okay. It's messy, or it can be messy, at least with me. So I'm gonna make sure I just clean that off properly before I stick it back into the bag, because I am still figuring out how I'm going to store all of these, just because I think with nicer nibs, I kind of want to know what each nib is. This is a Leonard Italic Broad nib, and we're gonna try, let's see, this is Colorburst Ornament, and this is a shimmery ink. I find shimmery inks perform much better with dip pen than in fountain pen. Um, in my broad nib, my Eco broad nib shimmery inks work well, but if it's anything less than a broad nib, for me at least, it doesn't seem to quite show off the personality of the ink. Oh, this is quite, this is lighter than I would have thought. I have sets, like certain things that I like to write when I'm testing out nibs or anything really. Reference, the word reference. Don't ask me why, but it's just one of those words that I just use to test inks and pens with. Yeah, this is coming off much lighter. I don't know if I'll actually see the shimmeriness of it, but in the vial, you can certainly see it. Let's see if you can see. Not quite. Probably be able to see it as that portion dries, but comes off as just kind of like a golden yellow color. But the diamine sunset quite like that one a lot. Um, let's give this a try one more time. This might end up being a long video, so grab a cup of tea. Let's see, what is this again? Color verse. Okay, that didn't quite take. Still getting used to different kinds of nibs here. So I guess this could be a little like a dip pen how to. I actually don't have my blotting paper with, do I? Oh, good. Good to have blotting paper when you're using a dip pen. You see, sometimes with shimmer inks, you can see it build up if you absorb it. Like that's a shimmery ink right there. So highly recommend blotting paper. J. Urban makes, in my opinion, the best. Um, I'm sure there's other ones out there. Okay, so that's the bold italic nib. I do have to definitely practice and play with each of these to really know the personality of the nibs too. Uh, 
um, this is the Leonard copying nib. This one actually looks like a fine. And this one has a great nib shape to it. Look at that. It's kind of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to get through all of this with you without making this a terribly long video. My video um, making has a lot of limits, mostly because I do everything on my phone. And so uploading, editing is very, my capacity is very small. So I try to do it unedited if I can. That's interesting. So normally when I dip my nib in, I give it a tap so any excess ink will kind of fall out. This one, the way it's designed, you kind of need to keep that ink in in order for it to continue writing. But this, oh, this one's beautiful. This one writes really nicely. And the thing with dip pens is you do have to constantly dip it back in. Oop, see, out of habit. Just trying to shake off that ink. Ooh, that's nice. You kind of get that feathery look to it. And this is Diamine Golden. I don't know if we'll be able to have time to write this out. This ink is coming off quite on the like brown side. I ordered a few ink samples just to kind of um, have some nice golden colors for fall. I'm already anticipating fall, guys. I mean, that's just what I like. Summer has been made much more tolerable with Jane Austen July, but summer's not my jam. I don't I don't like beaches very much. Um, I find it boring to just sit there and do nothing. I don't like heat. I don't do well in heat. I get overheated very easily. Fall and winter and spring, I do love those seasons. This is the Tachikawa. And I don't know enough about nibs to tell you exactly what each of these nibs are meant for, but I just decided to try a few new out. So that's what that one looks like. And we're gonna try the last ink sample, and this is Diamine Earl Grey. This one seems to be pretty popular. I am not a gray ink person. This is quite a fine nib. <laughs> quite like the color. It's a little bit on the darker side. I tend to like darker colored inks. That's Diamine Earl Grey. And then that's what it looks like on paper. I quite like this one. This is on the darker side. Um, I don't know, I just like my colors quite bold and to stick out. So I don't tend to lean toward light colors, but that's rather fun. Oh, I'm glad I got that one. So there's that. That is the Tachikawa nib. And finally, the one that I have been waiting to use. This is my first time using all of these. I 
just haven't had time to play with any of this. Is the music nib. This is a brass music nib. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, this company seems to be very popular in making nibs. And that makes the lines for writing music. I am not a musician. Not at all. I don't read music. I don't know how to. I wish I could. We're going to use De Atramentis. Jane Austen, of course. But I loved the idea that this could do that. Because I could use it as like a background thing. Oh, it carries quite a bit of ink, too, when you do that. That's kind of fun. Are you seeing this? Hopefully you're within frame, and hopefully this is recording. How fun. So, this was the whole reason why I put this order in, was because of this music nib. All right. How fun! Obviously, I gotta work on the line weights, but that is so fun. I'm so happy I got that nib. It's such a unique thing to have in my collection, and certainly something that I will use and appreciate for future Jane Austen Julys. But there we have it a little, well, it's not a journal with me, but a do stationary stuff with me showed you how to do the wax seal. Very easy, very basic, um, but really a fun touch to add to your journals, to your letters. I do that in my journal sometimes, but mostly I like to seal off letters and notes to loved ones um, with that technique. And um, I will link all the Crafts Fire stuff too down below. That's um, where I got that stuff. Um, and then Anderson pens, I will link down below as well if you want to get especially the music nib. I'll list all the nibs down below as well and all the inks and all of that information. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching.